So my buddy just bought this 2007 Honda CRV and uh, noticed right away that the passenger side headlight was out. And so uh, my first thought was, you know, swap the bulb out. Well, I, I reached in here. I haven't really disturbed it much here. I reached in here. Now we will disturb it and, and saw that this harness is all melted. And while two, two of them look okay, one of them, uh, one of the connectors is uh, completely, the housing's totally melted away from it. So this is a bad housing, no doubt about it. And it's actually kind of a fire hazard. So it looks like it is burned. I mean, it is burned. So, uh, so we're gonna replace it. We're gonna put a new harness on here. This should be a relatively easy job. And uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'll put links in the description for the, uh, for the connector that I'm using, but we're gonna swap this out. We're also going to change the bulb because if this, is, this got that hot and that burned, the connection is gonna be a little bit burned on the bulb also, and we don't wanna risk um, causing the same problem again. Basically, a poor connection is what causes this problem. A poor connection will get hot, and this got very hot. So we're gonna pull the boot off the headlight here, the back of it, and then there's a little spring in here you push it in and pull it you push it in and pull it up it's on the outside of the vehicle and then it's hinged and you can swing it out and pull the bulb out so uh and you can see here if you look right on this you can see the two that are okay and you can see the one that definitely got really hot so there again this is a fire hazard and we're going to throw this bulb away and we're going to put a new one in i believe it is an h4 so we've got our new bulb. It's very important not to put your hand on the actual glass. <clears throat> the oils from your skin can cause it to burn out prematurely. So we're gonna swing the spring out of the way, get the harness out of the way, tuck it in here with the big notch facing up, and then we're gonna swing the clamp over. And we're gonna do reverse. We swung the clamp over and then the little tab we're gonna Kind of lift it up, push it in, get it under the clip, push it down, and release. And that all went pretty good. It's, it's a little bit of a pain sometimes, but that went together good. Then we're going to take and put our boot back over it, and the boot kind of sits against the base of the bulb, so you want to push in the center of it until the, the terminals are exposed there. Now we're on to this. All right, we've got that off of there. So the other thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you see which wire goes where. We've just got extensive damage on this one wire. We've, the insulation is burned off and everything. So um, we've got a new harness here. And I've had these sitting around, I keep a stock of these, so I'm gonna link to something similar. It might not be orange, it might not look exactly the same, but this is actually like a porcelain base. So this, is, this one won't melt, although it still could get hot and cause a problem if there's a bad connection. But this is what we're using. So basically we need to make sure that we match up the wires here. So if we were to match it up like that, we see this burned one is the top one here, which is the black one. The blue wire goes to the point and the white wire goes to the bottom. So the black one is the same, black to black, but we literally are matching colors here, except the blue and the white are reversed. So I can now cut it off knowing that black goes to black, blue goes to white, and white goes to blue. And although this is turned off, I always like to cut wires individually because if there was actually power on them, you'd short it out and pop a fuse if you cut them all together. So we're just going to do one at a time here. The other thing is, since these are color-coded, you could cut this off and then inspect it to see what color went where. So, so we've still got a map in case you forget which color goes to what. We're gonna get our, our wires stripped back a little bit here. And yes, I do have wire strippers. And no, I don't use them. I've been doing this for a long time and you don't wanna damage the strands, so I very lightly kind of score the insulation and pull it off. About a quarter inch is what we're looking for. And now I'm gonna use some 
butt connectors on them. So we're gonna take the wires here, we're gonna slide a butt connector over, try and get it on, on the screen actually for you. And then with our crimper, we're gonna line that up, crimp that down, and then we're gonna pull on it. You should not be, the wire will break before it pulls out. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too crazy with it, but definitely give it a good pull test because if it doesn't pass that, something has not been done correctly. All right, now the last thing to do on this, these are heat shrink butt connectors, which is perfect for this application because we're gonna seal it up so they'll be weatherproof. So we're gonna give it a shot with a lighter. I've got a little bit of smoke on these now. They look a little black, they're not burned or anything. In fact, they're, they're excellent. We've got everything shrunk down good. Hopefully it's big enough. These butt connectors are definitely kind of big. We're just going to get this plugged in. And we're going to turn on the headlight and see if it works. There we go. That did not work. The bulb was out completely. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the high beam and verify that works, but there you go. And I'm going to inspect the other side over here. The other side works, but I may inspect the other side, and if that looks questionable, I might just be proactive about it and swap that harness out. But uh, links in the description for the tools and the parts I used on this. Uh, hopefully, whether or not you're driving a CRV, hopefully this helps you figure out what issue you might have and, and how easy it really is to fix it. So thank you for watching.